Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So hey guys, in this video we'll be showing how to model a DC motor. Doing a, we'll be doing a transfer function model of the same and um, this is the question we'll be referring to. So we have a separate, separately excited DC motor and um, the parameters are given. And with the calculation, you can find omega m, which is around 195.34 radians per second. So the output of the transfer function model will be, will be getting the speed of the motor in radians per second. So let's go ahead and do the simulation. So for reference, I've just put an image of the transfer function model just so that we know we're not going wrong anywhere. So we'll need a constant block which would act as the input voltage which is 220 volts as specified by the question. Once this is done we need a sum or an add a block. We also need a transfer function block to put in the transfer functions. So you can specify the values that is the coefficients of S and the constant in the array. So we'll be taking L and R values from the question as provided. Now we need a gain block. So the value of kt is 0 So the disturbance will be provided here and it's uh, the value is 100 as provided in the question. We'll need to duplicate the transfer function block because we'll need to give 1 plus j s plus b. And the values for this we calculated in the calculation part. We need another gain block in the backward part. So as I mentioned earlier, the output of this model would be uh, would be speed. So if you integrate speed over time, you would get distance. So we'll have a look at both. We'll see the display block now. So now let's go ahead and run the simulation. So once this is done, um, 
you can click on the scope as you can see the distance is recorded as well as the speed and the distance is nothing but 10 times the speed but this is in radians the distance is in radians and the speed is in radians per second and if you go to view layout and you make it two boxes so if you zoom into the speed you can see that it's around 195 that we calculated in the beginning of the video so that's it for this video um hopefully it was useful in the next video we'll be showing how you could use a PID controller to tune the speed of the motor such that it will always remain constant and yeah um, hopefully it was useful um, kindly like share and subscribe thank you